well, this video is all about this, my favourite little drone. And these amazing pieces of kit give you fantastic footage and they're so easy to use as well. There's no remote control needed for them, although you can fly it like a normal drone. Or it just does it all automatically, all pre-programmed into it. And it can give you footage like this. It also and talks to you. How clever is that? hands in your hand like that but it gives you footage like this all that in this little lightweight there's no license for it there's no restrictions with this folds away like that comes in a little bag and it comes with two batteries the other good thing with this is this is linked to the phone now and it's using the microphone on my phone to record the sound and it's cutting out the sound of the blades as well and when it's in this mode you can work it manually how clever is that so as we're walking along now i'm making it go backwards and I'm recording the sound on my phone and it's taking away the buzz of the propellers at the same time. It works on artificial intelligence and it uses the camera. There's no other sensors in it, it's just the camera that it uses to understand where you are, what it's filming and what's around it. It comes with a number of presets already programmed into it. And you can alter these on the app as well. Dolly Trap track is in front of you and walks in front of you and follows you that just hovers in front of you but in the manual mode you can alter the height of that as well so that zooms out and comes back to you that'll follow you from behind that'll circulate around you and that'll shoot up and shoot back down again and if you press and hold the button it will change the functions of that setting. So we're in the wood at the moment. Let's see if it will manage this. 30 foot above us. That's pretty clever considering there's no sensors on it. Missed that tree and it's stabilising itself. And it is a bit windy today as well. These don't work in strong wind. How clever is that? It's currently circling us at 20 feet. And when it's finished, it'll come back to where it roughly started and then come up to you and land on your hand again. 
red light's gone off, so it's on its way back. Got caught in the wind. <laughs> show you what you get in the box so it comes in a external box and then you get an internal box that's just the lid there's instructions in there which you don't really need if you go on YouTube there's endless amounts of videos about setting this up and how it all works uh, in that little back bit there you have a charging lead and you get the bag the carrying bag that it comes with and this is the drone and this has like a soft plastic case around the propellers. And this works really well. I think the design of this is if you do hit anything with it, acts like a bit of a shock absorber. It comes with a charging case for the batteries, which takes two batteries. And the lid just plugs in there and the lights light up to tell you where it charges in. And then the batteries just fit in like that and clip into place. And there you are. They're the buttons. So that's the sw to switch it on and switch it off and to start it flying. And then the middle button moves around these different presettings. And also, if you hold it down on one of the presettings, it changes some of the distance and some of the functions as well. You get lights on the end there to see how much charge is in that battery. And the gimbal is on there. They also come in black, exactly the same. It links to it through Bluetooth and through Wi-Fi as well. And um, you can see all the functions and all the alterations and everything you can do. You do your software updates as well. Um, but super easy to use. That's the manual mode. So you just join it through the Wi-Fi connection there. And this is the manual mode. And up there is the microphone. And these are the... Uh, forward, backwards, left, right, up, down, etc. And the gimbal alterations and the record button. And if you switch the microphone on, that's when it uses the microphone on your phone to enable you to uh, record the sound and lose the buzzing of the blades. When you go to this setting, these are all the pre-settings for the buttons on the actual front here. And it gives you a little video of how it works. And then you can alter some of the functions as well, the time settings and how they're different, how they work. It's a really straightforward app, but it has lots of information in as well. And your photographs um, or video are recorded on this, um, on the main screen, and you just transfer them to your phone, just down download them to your phone. So there you have it, the Hover Air X1. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check the description below, there'll be lots of information and links and also check across um, the socials as well across YouTube because there's endless amounts of technical videos about this that I haven't gone into. Mine's more about the practicalities. But as you'll see in the video and uh, there's some clips coming up now, I use this all the time. I do lots of product reviews, particularly e-bikes, and this is a fantastic way to get some great footage of riding bikes and being out and about and using various pieces of equipment. But it's also good just to take on holiday, get some snaps put on Instagram. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.